Hi guys, one more time. <laughs> I have plenty of time so I can show you some a little bit more, you know, instructions. I can record a little bit more today and um, help you to become the best ventriloquist in the world. I really hope that you will become another Jeff Dunham or a Ron Lucas or, you know, even more unique performer. And I really hope to see you one day on stage, you know, performing and saying, oh, I have learned from this guy. Okay, never mind. In my previous video, number six, you have learned how to make those, you know, basic, powerful exercises, you know, to, to improve your speech, ventriloquial speech and your normal speech. So you have learned how to make those groups like aka, eke, eke, atta, ette, ette, with one consonant in the middle and two vowels around. Okay, how you and you? I hope you already know how to do that. Ata ete ete ata ete ete aka ete ete and this kind of stuff. But when you learn ventriloquism, and especially when you learn dialogues or you know, read texts, you will find another problem. The problem which starts when you find a word which is ending with one consonant and another one following, starting with a consonant. For example. What time? What time? What time? In normal speech, in normal environment, when you are talking to your friends, you can say what time. And you can, you can use this one T sound because they will understand. But when you are on stage, those sounds have to exist. They, there is no excuse for that. Why? Because if it's a kind of lousy speech, you know, on stage it has to be more power, powerful, more clear, uh, even exaggerated a little bit, okay? Because when you are on stage, there is a distance between you and your audience. There is a room, there are noises, there are different, you know, sounds, um, and many sounds will simply disappear. So, for example, you say, what time? But your audience can hear what I'm, what I'm, or what I'm. It will make, you know, it will be muffled, it will be not clear, they will not understand it, they will have to use a little bit more force to understand you. And the point is that you want to make your audience, you know, happy with what you are doing on stage. You want them to be relaxed, otherwise you, you will simply lose them. So, you have to over-exaggerate a little bit and your audience will perceive it as a normal speech, okay? So, it has to be what time, what time, what time, what time, much stronger. Even if you are using PA system, it is important for you to speak as clearly as possible. And... What happens when you have those, you know, two consonants? In some cases, you can easily do that. But in some cases, especially when you are performing, you might find yourself at the moment when you are not able to say that, and you get this kind of, you know, tension and problem with pronunciation. So, you can create thousands of different, you know, exercises improving um, particular consonants being close to each other. So, let me take a um, T sound. What time? And you have a groove, okay? Or... Try to do it as, you know, as best as possible in your own language. Because there are some differences in sounds in... English language and Polish language, uh, for example, vowels are not so obvious for us, you know, like our own vowels, which are A, O, U, very clear, you know, very dense, distinct. Try to make it as clear as possible, use voice recorder or something like that and practice. So, you, ha you have made this at -ta -et -te -et -te groove, now you can practice that without moving your lips as well. If your jaw is moving and you still have problems, you have this kind of stick with those two holes, you put it in your mouth, try to not bite it, try to not squeeze it, you know, just use as much energy as necessary to keep it in your mouth so it will not fall out, but do not use any more force, okay? And... Okay, you can practice with your 
puppet with your puppet. Of course, of course. Can you show something? Of course. Can you use my voice? Why? Because, you know, at this moment I would like, you know, those guys okay, to speak with their, you know, normal voice. We will cover the topic of voice a little bit later, okay? Okie dokie, my friend. Friend difficult, oh yes. Okay, so try. Okay, so. As you can see, my puppet is opening mouth on each possible syllable. You know, it's imitating movements of Joe. Very similar, okay? If you keep it in mind that puppet opens mouth when you say a syllable, it will be absolutely okay for you at the beginning. Now, very funny exercise, and many people, you know, I know, have difficulties with that. Key sound, key uh, or G, you know, like golf. This kind of combination like kak, 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 Many people believe me have difficulties with that, so we have to practice that, you know, to make it as clear as possible, those kiki sounds repeating quickly without difficulties and the gig sound repeating without difficulties. You can practice that with the quirk because g sound and k sound requires a back of your throat, you know, back of your tongue, not the tip of your tongue, and you can easily do that, you know, without any interruption. You know, it builds a flexibility of your muscles when you have opened your mouth a little bit more open because it requires a little bit more work of your throat. I really, really recommend it. And I believe I have I have, I have shown you all possibilities and one more one more um, comment. I really love metronomes. Metronome is a power powerful tool which will help you to practice your exercises because it gives you an impression. You 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 see the tempo, you see the speed. You can practice, you know, and it gives you control over you know over um, repeating that pa pattern easily and. Easily evenly and really helps you to improve. So for example, I have found a tempo perfect metronome software on the internet, free of charge, you know, free to use. You set it up on your computer and it's done. You know, you read something on your computer and you can practice in the meantime. Okay. So for example, I put it on 110 beats per minute for my kak 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 ka groove because I feel comfortable with that speed. And let's see what happens. Let's say next day I will try to speed it up a little bit more and it will be 123 beats per minute. Try to find a tempo which is comfortable for you. Try to not force yourself to, you know, to speed it up as much as possible because it's not a point to speed it up as much as possible. Try to make it as comfortable as possible and slowly, day by day, speed it up, speed it up, speed it up, one bit per minute or two bits per minute, okay? And find the tempo which is comfortable, you know, to, to repeat 100 times or 200 times without hurting yourself. If you feel tired, relax, let it go next day, okay? If you feel thirsty, relax, let it go. I hope I have really helped you. And if you have any questions, please comment below those videos. I will try to do my best, you know, to deliver as much knowledge as possible. So, Bye.